Hello, spooky ventures. I'm Dan Clefstad, author of Fiona's Guardians, a tale about humans who work for a beautiful, manipulative vampire named Fiona. It's uh, out October 2nd, so people will be able to uh, purchase it just in time for Halloween. It's published by Burton Mayer's Books, a, uh, a publisher out of uh, the UK, and uh, it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart.com, etc. Just look for it. Fiona's Guardians uh, by Dan Clefstad. So I'm going to ask, answer some of your questions. My novel is a vampire story. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I mentioned humans who work for a beautiful, manipulative vampire. Fiona is 250 years old when we meet her, and she is um, re remarkable among her kind in that she is... Um, rather advanced, rather intelligent, and she would rather not leave a trail of dead bodies every night when she, when she uh, gets her mandatory 10 pints of O negative every evening. So she hires people to do her dirty work so the trail does not arrive at her doorstep if you're a homicide detective, for example. Uh, so she's very keen to avoid police. So she hires uh, people starting in uh, right around World War I. In the early 20th century, she hires people to first subdue the victims and then bring them to her. And then when blood donation becomes a thing, usually, I, I think it's in the, uh, in the 1920s in Europe and then in the United States, when blood donation becomes a thing, she hires people who then hire other people in hospitals and blood banks and uh, secure blood for her every night. Uh, just find those uh, stray bags that fall off the back of a truck, to use a mafia <laughs> uh, metaphor there. So what drew so what drew me to write a vampire tale? Okay, I've always been fascinated by monsters. Uh, ever since I was a kid, you know, a young teenager in the 1980s, playing Dungeons and Dragons, I was a real nerd. And uh, I remember the among the many books, extremely well illustrated and detailed books uh, that D&D uh, &D gamers had, uh, was the Monster Manual. And I just poured through reading details about these monsters. And one of the monsters that I, I thought I was familiar with was the vampire. Uh, but there are actually all kinds of different vampires out there. The, the, the undead creatures who uh, suck the blood of living, uh, the living at night, uh, are, you can find them in China, Malaysia, Europe, uh, and, and like they're all different legends that you can find in, from Russia to Hungary to Romania to Germany and France. But uh, the basic vampire that we know from film and uh, most literature um, is usually portrayed as uh, uh, something that is stronger than we humans that is sexier than we are and can live forever unless something catastrophic happens like a stake through the heart or exposure to sunlight. Uh, um, beyond this, I find vampires also work on the level of metaphor, a creature that stands in for something that is draining our energy, whether it is a government entity, another human, it could be your mother, your neighbor, your pusher, your lover, uh, it could be as something else, a, co a corporate entity that you work for, that, uh, that you become a slave to and you can't live without, but you know, at the same time you know it's draining your energy. So I, thought, I think vampires are also useful in at getting us to ask ourselves, who's my vampire? You know, what is the role I have in this dysfunctional relationship or a relationship where I'm, uh, you know, exist existing and unwittingly perhaps serving another's needs. So that's why I find them so fascinating.